It's Ms. Jones, and I want to teach you a strategy to help you solve your addition and subtraction story problems. All right, we have two story problems here. First, we're going to read through the information, and we're going to decide what we're going to have to do. All right, let's look at the first one. Ms. Jones has 39 pencils. Ms. Pugh gave her 24 more. How many pencils does Ms. Jones have now? So the very first thing we have to do, we've got to figure out what information they've given us. Ms. Jones has 39 pencils. That's the first piece of information. I'm going to circle 39 and I'm going to write the number here. Miss Pugh gave her 24 more. What happened there? She gave me 24 more. So what kind of math are we going to do there? She gave me some more. Very good. We're going to add. And she gave me 24 more. How many pencils does Miss Jones have now? All right, this is a result unknown problem. We have to figure out what the total is now from what she gave me. All right, and we're looking for pencils. All right, the reason we're practicing this strategy, we've learned a lot of different ways to solve story problems, but today I really want you to think about using a number line to help you solve your story problems. All right, let's look at these numbers. Whenever we're using our number line, I want you to always start with the larger number. With add-ins, it doesn't matter which one you start with first because in the end you're going to still get the same sum. All right, what's our larger number? 39, very good. So we're going to start with 39. Let's look at the next number, 24. How many tens does 24 have? Very good. There's a 2 in the tens place. And how many ones? Very good. There's a 4 in the ones place. All right, so we're going to show our number line starting on what number? That's right. We're going to start on 39. All right, the reason we do it this way is because I want you to get in the habit of trying to make your problem solving a little bit easier for yourself. So let's look at our tens place. How many tens do we have? Two tens. So we're going to do two big ten jumps. Ten, twenty. And how many ones? Four. So we're going to do four small ones jump. Ten, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So I'm going to put plus ten here so we know that we're adding tens and plus ones here. All right, from there, now we're going to skip count by tens to help us figure out the total. Thirty-nine with ten more. Look at the tens place. We have a 3 in the tens place. What number is 10 more? So we go from 30 to 40. So 39, 49. 10 more than that. 49, 59. All right, those are our big 10 jumps. 39, 49, 59. The ones place stayed the same, but we did have to jump up from our tens place. All right, let's start at 59, and let's count on from our ones. 59, what comes next? 60. 61, 62, 63. 39 plus 24, 39, 49, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. How many pencils do I have now? Very good. I have 63 pencils. That's an example of using your big 10 jumps and small ones jumps to solve an addition story problem. Let's try the next one. Aaron Harris has 95 chairs in the cafeteria. 41 students are sitting on chairs in the cafeteria. How many chairs are left? All right, let's go back and see what information we know. Aaron Harris has 95 chairs. Let's start with 95. 95 chairs in the cafeteria. 41 students are sitting on chairs in the cafeteria. We know that there are 41 students sitting on chairs. How many chairs are left? So we started with 95. 41 are being used. We have to figure out how many are left. What kind of problem are we going to do here? What's our actions? Very good. We're going to subtract here. So once again, this is a result unknown story problem. We have to find the result and find the difference of how many chairs are left in the cafeteria. All right. This time, with our subtraction problem, you're always going to start with a larger number. So our larger number is going to be our very first number, 95. This time with our takeaway, let's look at the amount that we have that we're taking away. 41. What number is in the tens place? Very good. It has four tens. And how many ones? One in the ones place. All right. We're going to still use our number line. But now that we're subtracting, am I going to start from the left of my number line and jump to a higher number? 
Or am I gonna start on the right and jump to a smaller number? That's right, I'm gonna jump to a smaller number because we're subtracting. When we were adding earlier, we had to find the sum, which would be a larger number, to find our whole number. We have our whole number for the chairs, we have to jump back to find the missing part. All right, we're starting with our whole number, 95. All right, and this time, since we're taking away, we're going to jump back how many big 10 jumps? There's a 4 in the 10's place, so I need to do 4 10's jumps. 10, 20, 30, 40. All right, how many small 1's jumps? 1, because there's only 1 in the 1's place, 41. All right, we take away 1, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. All right, let's start at 95, and let's jump back 10. Look at the 10's place. We have a 9 in the tens place. We got to go down this time. 95, count back. 85, count back. 10 more. 75, good job. Keep going. 65, and one more time. 55, good job. You notice how only the tens place went down each time because we're jumping down tens. 95, 85, 75, 65, 55. Now that we're at 55, we have one more jump to make. We're not jumping back tens anymore. We had a one in the ones place, so we're going to count back one. 55, 54. So 95 minus four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, and one, 41, is going to put us at 54. 95, 85, 75, 65, 55, and one more, 54. All right, this is an example of what I would like for you to do whenever you're practicing your story problems and using your number line with your big tens and your small ones jump to show your work. The larger the number get, it's going to be a little bit easier for you to use this strategy um, instead of just drawing everything out. Let's try it out this week and see how it goes. All right, thanks class.